Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you all the cool options for changing and customizing your watch face on your Garmin VivoActive 4. Let's get into it. Hey guys, so my name is Jeff, and today we're going to be talking about all the different watch face options. Uh, starting off here, you probably have some sort of a face such as this on your watch. Garmin has created uh, a bunch of different watch faces that come with their watches. In my opinion, they're not nearly as cool as the third party uh, watches that you can download, but I do want to show you all the different options that come with these. So to start off to change your watch face, you're going to want to hold down this bottom right button. And then when you do that, that takes you to this menu here for settings and you're going to want to choose watch face. Now, when you're in this setting here, what you can do is you can scroll to uh, the right or the left and that is going to show you different options for different watch faces that are installed. Now something that I noticed when I was doing this the first time, I couldn't get it to work. You have to do use some pressure with your finger and you have to scroll kind of fast and you'll notice it's not always responsive. Uh, so you have to do it just right with a, enough force and enough swipe that it's gonna react to you swiping to the left or the right. Swipe for no swiping. But then you'll see the different watch options that are currently installed. So you find one that you want, uh, we can start with uh, you know this one here that's kind of cool with the analog and you just tap it to make it your current watch face. So when you find a watch face that you like again you can go back to the settings here and in clicking watch face if you swipe up on whatever watch face you're interested in it gives you all these different options here to customize it. So for this particular one uh, if I wanted to change some of the uh, different options I have to put data in this field you'll see the up and down arrows in the circle. I can choose from having it display like battery life uh, what I've got for steps for the day, calories, I can go through all the different options. I find the one I want and I can tap it and I can do that for as many circles as appear. Click the uh, enter button up top here and then it takes me back to the watch face. If I swipe up again, let's say I was interested in changing the appearance of the watch hands. Again, there's an up and down arrow. If I swipe down, you'll notice the hands are changing their design. Uh, I can choose that. I can even go back once again and choose color uh, up or down to just change from blues to reds to whites, pinks, find the one that I want here that's going to look cool and then go ahead and save that and then tap it in the center here. This now becomes my new watch. Uh, that I'm using. So real quick, if you happen to find Tinker, he's our robot that we hide in all of our videos. Be sure to let me know where you saw him down in the comments section below using the time or the timestamp where you saw him. Congratulations to Mohammed Carmen. He found Tinker hidden in one of our previous videos. So I wanted to just do a shout out to you as well as we're going to add your name over on our Tinker Forward Hall of Fame, uh, which there's a link to down in our description. So in addition to the pre-loaded watch faces that come on Garmin's watch. You can create your own watch face. And again, you're gonna hold down this lower right button. You'll choose watch face, and we are going to scroll to the right. And I'm gonna keep scrolling through all those pre-loaded watch faces until I get to this plus. And then when I click on that, this takes me into the, uh, I'm gonna call it the design center, where you can choose all your different options. So this first, piece of design here you can choose the background color I'm just gonna keep it black because I think black's pretty slick looking next is going to be analog or digital options so these arrows on the top and bottom if you scroll up or down that allows you to choose different uh, you know like the different watch hands or the uh, digital numbers I kinda like the second hand so we're gonna go with that design and then I've got color options here. So if I scroll up or down, that second hand is going to be different colors. I kind of like that red. And from there, now I can add different pieces of data. So I can click one of these rings and in that area, scroll up or down and I can add information like my battery life or battery status. I can go to another ring here. Uh, I can scroll through the different options. So steps, calories, uh, we have like body battery information, heart rate, the date, so all different options. And you don't have to populate all of these. You can leave some of them blank. Uh, let's put steps there. I'm going to leave that last one blank. 
And then here we have time markers. So as I scroll through these, you'll see it adds different numbers and tick marks to the edges. Kind of like that one. Uh, and then when I am done, I'm going to click this uh, top right button. And that is going to make this my current watch face. So that is how easy it is to customize or create your own watch face right on the watch without even needing a phone or other device. So all these options here to customize your watch are great. However, now I want to show you how to download and install the third party watch faces. And I think once you see some of these options, you're probably going to want to pick these watch faces because they are pretty awesome. So the first thing I'm going to have you do is go into the Garmin Connect app and you've probably been using this app to see all the stats uh, from your Garmin watch. I'm going to click on the icon of my Vivo Active 4 and this gets me to all the device settings and all the different things that I can customize, change, uh, things like uh, music and I actually just did a video here on how to install and use all the controls on Spotify to play music directly off your Vivo Active 4, uh, send it right to your headphones. If you're interested in checking that video out, uh, very cool. I'll put a card up here to link over to it or a link down in the description. But for today, for changing the watch face, we're gonna go down to appearance. So we're gonna click on appearance and it gives us these different options to change. We're gonna click on watch faces. And once it does that, you're gonna see that these are all the different current installed watch faces that I have as well as what's not installed and if I want to get more watch faces I would click this link down here. This takes me over to the Connect IQ store which is another app that you'll need to install if you don't have it installed just go ahead and quickly install that. Uh, it will get you to a screen very similar to this. You'll also notice there's a watch icon which uh, will give you all the information about your current connected device. You'll see what apps or watch faces you've got installed and you can go into the different options here uh, to see the different watch faces as well as change the different settings by clicking the gear icons. But we will get to that. Going back to the main menu here, if I hit these lines or I like to call it the hamburger, um, we can go to the watch faces link and that is going to give me a list here of all the different current third party watch faces that are available. And as I scroll down, you will see there are literally hundreds of different watch faces uh, to choose from. And uh, what you can do is find, find one of the watch faces you like. So let's do data lover. That's up top. And as we click that, we will see all sorts of information about this watch face. We get everything from how many downloads, uh, the average user ratings. Down here, you can see all the info, the description that they give you about the watch face, as well as you can click on different pictures and scroll through to give you an idea of what it's going to look like. You can read different user reviews and they're either going to really love the watch face or they're not going to like it but that will give you a good idea right there uh, and then if we jump back to the info here as we're reading in the description it also gives us all the versions information how much space it's going to take as well as compatible devices you want to make sure it's compatible with your vivo active 4 or whatever device you're using so if you're impressed with this watch face and we'll use this as an example here you can go ahead and download it some of these watch faces if they're going to have gps heart rate different pieces of information they're going to take from your device they're going to ask for permission we're going to say yes and this is now queued on my phone if i back out of this and I go back to my device, you'll see here in my download queue is that watch face. So this may take a minute, so we'll come back when this is downloaded. Two hours later. So now that it has downloaded, you'll notice it's gone out of my queue. I now have another watch face here, and we can scroll down and we can see Data Lover is now installed. Again, I can click this gear icon, and it actually gives me uh, an area here for settings. And I can go into settings and change all these different options here with the watch face. So lots of different options to customize, even with these third party watch faces. I also can uninstall it 
Uh, if I go over to my watch itself, so you can see that Data Lover is installed and it's just that quick and simple. Uh, another way to quickly change the watch faces that you've downloaded from your watch is going to be to go back to your watch faces and kind of like we did with the pre-installed uh, watch faces, you're going to notice any other watch faces that you have downloaded, like my Mario one that you saw before, uh, I've got a Galaxy one, all of these that are downloaded, I can just tap and now that's going to become my current watch face that is on my watch. So since there's literally hundreds of different watch faces to choose from, I've been spending time going through quite a bit of these watch faces and in the near future, I am gonna be releasing a video of my top 10 watch faces. Uh, so if you wanna stay connected so you don't miss that, be sure to subscribe by hitting that subscribe button as well as that little notification bell and you'll get notified as I release new videos. Um, I will also put a card linking to this video after it's been released as well as put it down linked in the description below. So my question for you guys is what is your favorite watch face? Be sure to let me know down in the comments section below. As I mentioned, I'm going to be doing a future video here where I'm going to be telling you about my top 10 favorite watch faces. I'm going to consider any suggestions that are left down in the comments section from this video uh, to possibly be included in that video as well. Hey, if this video helped you out, be sure to smash that like button. If you found Tinker, our hidden robot, be sure to let us know down in the comments section below at what time you found him along as leaving your best comment. My name is Jeff. This is Tinker Forward. Be sure to make every day awesome and I'll see you guys in the next video. Why is he moving so slow? on whatever current watch face you're interested in. Whoa. Go Mario, jump! No, you're supposed to land on the turtle. Ah. My top tinker forward, my top watch face tinker forward challenge, my top 10 Vivo active watch face suggestion top. All right, take two. It's just gonna be my top 10 watch faces. Let's let's do that. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to th 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 be sure. Get the boxes, get the Jump on the Gooba! Oh, why didn't he? Oh, man. This may require a coffee.